These brides says her husband is jealous of her superior brain power. Which one is it? Well, her husband's about to find out, and so are you, because it's time to play the newlywed game. Kroger, and welcome to the Newlywed Game. You're about to meet three brand new couples, and you'll discover how well they know each other. The game is real simple. I ask each couple questions about each other, their relationship. Correct answers earn points. The couple with the most points, you guessed it, wins. And they're going to win a fabulous second honeymoon. Let's meet our first couple. She's a 30-year-old medical sales representative. He's a 32-year-old medical sales representative as well. They've been married three weeks. Let's meet Susan and Jeff Soule. Hey, you're enthusiastic. Welcome. She is a 25-year-old substitute teacher. He's a 29-year-old bank examiner. They've been married just three months. Say hello to Jamie and Mark Nolte. Welcome. Good luck. Good luck. Finally, she's a 25-year-old travel agent. He's a 26-year-old surgical technician. They've been married for a year. Say hello to Kellyanne and Robert Marrero. All right, ready to go. Let's do it. Big round of applause for all of today's newlyweds. All right. I saw a lot of enthusiasm bounding down those stairs. Let's do it. You ready? Yep. Kellyanne, I'm going to start with you. Ooh, okay. You are going to set the pace here, and you're going to watch this monitor where you're about to magically see Robert. The worst quality my wife inherited from her mother is... Now, we stopped the tape there, Kellyanne, because I want you to finish that sentence for 10 points. Nerves. You inherited your mother's nerves. One bad temper. <laughs> <laughs> seriously. You seriously? Know how she what? Seriously. No, you get you get upset at the littlest thing. <laughs> All right, Jamie. Here's Mark. Our silliest secret code word for having sex is. Don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, do oh it. Oh my gosh, that's interesting. <laughs> do it. Do it. <laughs> I'm horny. I forgot that one. <laughs> you want to explain that? Oh, it's just kind of her little secret to me. She just lets me know in that little whiny voice, like, mm -hmm. horny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Boy, uh, how do you pick up on that secret code? <laughs> Interesting. OK, Susan, here's Jeff. For her body size, my wife has surprisingly big... Appetite. 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 Absolutely. Okay. Appetite. Breasts. <laughs> oh, look, at this look at these things. All right. Look, she's sitting there so modestly. Susan, we're going to turn things around now. And Jeff, I want you to look at Susan. My husband thinks he's so cool when he... I think I'm the best salesperson in the world. You think you're cool when you're selling? Yeah. Okay. Sings with the radio. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Mark, take a look at Jamie. When we're eating, I hate the way my husband... I talk with my mouth open when I eat. Okay, all right. Chews with his mouth open. All right, you got it. <laughs> Tell him and I tell him. It's just not cooth, right? Well, actually, it's part of her fault, because when I get home from work, she asks me so many questions while I'm eating, it's like, <laughs> okay. no time not to. All right. All right, Robert, here's Kellyanne. The sexual fantasy that my husband and I share, but haven't acted on yet, is? <laughs> <laughs> to do it more often. <laughs> Making love in the rain. I knew that, I knew that. He knew that. <laughs> All right, well, we take a commercial break. I'm gonna go outside and see if it's raining.
for Robert and Kellyanne. So don't you go away. Come right back. halfway through Robert's proposal, you were ready to have him. Tuesday, join Buzzer as we take part in Giving Tuesday, helping those in need. Give time, give kindness, and give to the charity of your choice. Giving Tuesday, because everyone has something to give. I sure was. What was the story? I had gone away for the weekend on a cruise for work, and um, when I got back, we had some takeout, and we were sitting at the table, and I went to get up to clear everything away, and he gets real serious, tells me, sit down. And he starts telling me how this girl tr asked him to go home with them at the bar. I'm going, my God, he did it. I was going to go in the room, pack his bags. He was out but, of there. But, but, but I told her no, and I, because I had a girlfriend. And when, when I told her that, she goes, well, your girlfriend is very lucky to have somebody like you. But that made me, that made me realize that I was lucky to have somebody like her. Very nice. So, oh, that's so very when nice. she came back, after, after dinner and everything, I went, went down on one knee and proposed. Isn't very that sweet? Nice. Congratulations. <laughs> now, Mark. Mark, it was, what, about 10 years before you asked Jamie out? It was approximately 10 years. Um, my wife is from Nebraska, mm -hmm. and one summer when I was 16 years old, I went back to Nebraska to work on my uncle's farm, and Jamie was 13 at the time, and she lived next door to my uncle. And I, I had met her once or twice, but you know, obviously she's a 13-year-old, <laughs> so nothing happened. And then approximately 10 years later, I went back to my cousin's wedding in Nebraska, and beforehand we had like a bachelor slash bachelorette party, kind of a joint thing. And I saw Jamie again, and I'm like, wow, in 10 years, you've grown up. <laughs> and um, from then on, it was smooth sailing, and here we are. Well, Jamie, what did you think of this 16-year-old older man? Um, I really didn't give him a second thought. I was just, you know, hi, and that's it. But you saw him again? Yes, I was very impressed. I approached him, and I said, hi, Mark, do you remember me? And went from there. And when he picked up his jaw, he answered the question. That's nice. And I understand, Jeff, you and Susan, you have a, you've been, well, you got married three weeks ago, yeah. but you kind of have a confession to make. Um, 
<laughs> We're on national yeah, we television. Yeah, we do. We do. <laughs> We do, and this is, come, this is gonna come as a surprise to everyone, including my parents and all our friends, but we eloped and got married in Vegas about eight months ago. Oh. <laughs> so, sorry, Mom, now you know. That's all right, that's all right. But, you know, that, that, Jeff? It was, it was unbelievable. We literally um, had to run through the hotel in our pajamas <laughs> to make the appointment to get married, and it was wonderful. We did it's get something, married. It's something we'll cherish for the rest of Believe me, yeah. they're all going to forgive you. But right now, the souls, I guess your soulmates. Yes, we right? are. All right. You have no points. You have no points. We need some points. You Come need on, some baby. points. We need points. Kellyanne and Robert over there, you don't have any points either. That's you need right. some points. Jamie and his, uh, Mark and your young bride here, uh, you've got 10 points. You're in first place. Now, here's how you're all going to make some points now. I'm going to ask each one of you a multiple choice question, and it's going to be up to you to tell me which of the three answers I give you your mate said. Each correct answer is 10 points. And I'm going to start right here with you, Susan. According to Jeff, Susan, what type of TV show best describes your family? Drama? Sitcom or talk show? <laughs> Sitcom. Aww. Oh, baby. What'd you talk say, show. Talk, talk show? show? Why talk show? The reason is you guys talk Korean. I don't understand the word you say. I sit there and all I do is go, okay. <laughs> no, I don't talk show. Because it's not funny. I don't understand anything. Okay. Let's be quiet. <laughs> we have plenty more to talk about now. Plenty. According, Jamie, according to Mark, which of the following words is he most likely to hear from you when you're making love? Slower, faster, or are you done yet? <laughs> faster. What'd you say, Mark? <laughs> are you done yet? <laughs> <laughs> That's you. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Kellyanne, according to Robert, you're always adjusting your hair, your makeup, or your bra? My bra. Yes. yes. <laughs> All right, you're on the board. You got 10 points. I'm going to turn things around here. And Robert, it's your turn now. Which of the following things does Kellyanne think you're way too secretive about? Your feelings, your past, or what you do with your money? My past? Huh? No. Kellyanne? Your feelings. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. He, he gets this. Go ahead. I can't even express myself. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah. Mark, if Jamie were more like your ex-girlfriends, does she think she'd have to be uglier, fatter, or dumber? I'm going to say uglier. That's what <laughs> she said. I've never met them, but I'm just kind of going by pictures. <laughs> uh -huh. Jeff, when you make love, at what point did Susan say you're most likely to tell her how beautiful she is? Before, during, or after? After. Oh, silly. Okay. You say during. I thought after. You I always say, you know, baby, I love, I love you. you. It was wonderful. Yeah, you know, you always say during. You, you, you start out slow. I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> well,
to uh, explore our own feelings during this commercial break, so you stick around. Jeff, do you know what your score is? Zero, but we're on the move. Okay, yes, I believe you. <laughs> Kellyanne and Robert, you've got a correct answer, so you've got 10 points. That's right. right. <laughs> Jamie and Mark, you are in first place with 20 right now. Yeah. Uh, gentlemen, before the show, we had a little time to talk to your wives. And we had nice conversations. They revealed some secrets about themselves and you guys. As I reveal their secrets here, if you think it's your wife I'm talking about, I want you to hold up the sign. I want to see it right now. And you're going to get my attention by yelling out, That's, that's my, my wife. wife! Great. Now, if you're right, that's 10 points. If you're wrong, you will lose 10 points, so you got to be sharp. First one up can win or lose, OK? The thing you do that annoys her the most is bite your nails in bed. That's my wife! Yeah. Yes! A strange habit there, isn't it? It's, it's nasty. <laughs> nasty. She hates how she looks in a bathing suit. That's my wife! Hey! <laughs> Ten points, man! Ten points! Jeff, let me guess you don't hate the way she looks in a bathing suit. No. <laughs> Not at all. Good, Good answer. answer. Good answer. <laughs> she could easily spend the entire day in bed That's snuggling. No! <laughs> that was not you. Who was that? Jamie. In bed snuggling. Yeah. <laughs> Pick up on that, Mark. All right. <laughs> she says it makes you jealous that she's so much smarter than you are. That's my wife. Hey. Yeah. She says the wildest place you two ever had sex was on the island in your kitchen. That's my wife! Yay! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. <laughs> Maybe it'll be an island in the Caribbean next time. That's right. Well, and that's how we got pregnant. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sort of tossing a salad yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> She hates it when you don't shower after you work out. That's my wife. Catch Unlucky Sweepers returning on Supermarket Sweep Redemption Week specials. Buzzer's Black Friday Frenzy. Friday starting at 4, only on Buzzer.
a bad habit. I come home from work, and then I go to the gym. By the time I get home from the gym, it's late at night, and I'm tired, and I'm ready to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> she says that you think about sex way too much. That's not right. Hey! <laughs> I don't know, Susan, he's looking awful smart to me. All right, stick around, folks, because we're going to find out which one of these smart couples wins that incredible second honeymoon. So don't go away. couples will be off on a fabulous second honeymoon. Ellen, tell them where they're going this time. Gary, today's winners are going on a Caribbean cruise. They'll spend one week aboard a Costa cruise ship, Europe's leading cruise line. Visit ports such as St. Thomas, Grand Cayman, Ocho Rios, and Costa's private island. Experience cruising Italian style from Costa Cruises. Back to you, Gary. Thank you. All right. Kellyanne and Robert. You have 30 points. Yes. Very good. You're tied with Jamie and Mark with 30 points. Susan and Jeff, you have a very respectable 20 points. You're not far behind. Here's how we're going to decide this match. I'm going to give your wives a couple of choices. They'll be uh, like pretzels or peanuts, suave or goofy. She'll hold up the sign that best corresponds to you gentlemen, and you'll have to match, all right? But I'm going to start at 10 points and go all the way up to 100 for the last one. Here we go. You ready? For 10 points, deep fried or fat free? Jeff? Fat free. She said you're deep fried. Mark? Fat free? She said you're deep fried. Oh. Robert? Deep fried. Got it. Yes! For 20 points, stock market or lotto? Mark? Definitely stock market. Good. Robert? Lotto fever. You got it. Jeff. Lotto. You got it. All right. <laughs> For 30 points. Grown up or just pretending? Robert, what are you? Just pretending. Yes, you are. Yes. Yeah. Just pretending. Yes. <laughs> Mark. I'm going to say just pretending. No. She oh. said you're a grown up playing the stock market. For 40 points. Makes it from scratch or opens a can? Jeff? Makes it from scratch. Got it. Yeah! Mark? Uh, opens a can. Good. Yeah! Robert? Opens a can. Good. Yes! This is for 50, and we got a good race here. Mr. Modesty or flaunts his goodies? Quickly now. Kelly Ann? Mark? Flaunts his goodies? Says you're modest. Robert? Mr. Modesty. Good, you are. Jeff. Flaunts his goodies. Yes! Okay, li listen up here. This one is for 60 points. Loves foreplay or skips foreplay? Gonna start with you, Robert. Loves foreplay. Yes, you do. Jeff. Loves foreplay. All right. Yeah. Mark. I'm going to say skips for play. Hey. <laughs> All right. All right. This game can go anywhere now. This one is for 100 points. Woo! Anyone can win this game. Yeller or a grunter? Get them up there. Now, Mark, I'm going to start with you. You have 150. This will put you in the lead. I'll say grunter. OK. <laughs> right now, you got 250. So, Jeff, it's up to you to take the lead away. Yeller. She said you're a grunter, so Robert, don't say a word. If you're right, you're going to have 340 and you're going all the way. Otherwise, it's going to be Mark and Jamie. Grunter. You are. Congratulations. You're going on a Caribbean cruise. Come on over here. Get over here. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you all, our couple, for playing. We a lot of fun. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. When one of these brides catches her husband in a lie, she loves to watch him squirm.
Which one is it? Well, he's about to find out, and so are you, because it's time to play the...